I, there's only one champion. But it, but you, you shouldn't wait until you're the champion to behave like one. And I think that can be a game changer for people. You know, what if you were the best marathoner in the world? Would you train differently because you had that title? Would you eat, sleep, recover? Would your effort be different? If you had that branded across your chest, you are the best marathoner in the world. And I think that's going back to how powerful the mind is. When you believe something, when when that has been realized, when you were, I am the best marathoner in the world, it's like it takes over how you live your entire life, your decisions that you make, and, and even how you interact with hope because you're just like, I'm the best. But what if we were just like that in everything that we did? Well, I'm the best dad around, right? Like I am the best. Like people look to me and I I know I know what to do. I know what I want to do. I have I have goals in place and and I think that if we put that kind of energy and a belief in to all aspects of our life, I think we'd be a little bit more courageous too. I think we'd be a little bit more willing to take chances. We'd believe in ourselves a little bit more. But it's hard to tell somebody that, and this is just using running as the parallel, when someone says to you, well, I'm just a back of the packer. I just, I just came to finish the race. I just hope I finish the race. That's, that's all I want to do. Yeah. But what if, how about you just pretend, pretend that you're actually the, I know you, you call yourself a back of packer, but let's say that you are actually going to be the champion. Would you train differently? Would you do anything differently? See, we let the beliefs and the way that we view ourselves dictate how we go after everything in life. And I think that is a tragedy because some people will listen to critics around them, other people sizing them up, and they'll never live to their full potential. They'll never live out all the things that they could have done because they, they sit in this mold they sit in this dis in this belief that they are lesser. And you know, I when I think about Western states, when I run on that trail, I think about winning the race. Now, like I said, statistically, um, according to to anyone analyzing the race, yeah, odds are very stacked against me to to win that race. But belief before ability. But belief before ability, it's so powerful to me. I've I've I, I guess it's maybe a, a, a childlike way, uh, which I think is important sometimes to have childlike perceptions of things because you, as, as children, we believe anything. I'm going to be an astronaut, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be a famous dancer. I'm going to have a billion dollars. You know, kids just kind of believe that everything is possible and that all good things are going to come to them. And, and many times we'll continue to act out in that, but then it's like real life hits and thing, you know, you start to grow older and you feel that life is hard and cold and, and people are mean and there's critics and and judgments. And then you start to kind of find the space where you don't feel hurt and you don't feel criticized. You don't feel judged. And, and we kind of close off the, the wonder and the curiosity and the imagination and, and the hopes and the dreams, because it hurts too much to let other people know what we dream of because we don't want people weighing in. But that's kind of taking all back to what I was saying from from the get go. Like this is like the greatest part of of even being a human. You, everyone has imperfections. We all have our weaknesses. But what if we just like kept working with excitement and joy, knowing like I can get a little bit better, and my strengths are going to get stronger, and I'm going to improve on my weaknesses. But man, if I don't try, I'm I'm never going to know. And so when I, every time I get out to train on the Western States trail, and like I said, my last training was discouraging. And I wrote to my coach, I was like, you know, it was discouraging, but I told myself when I turn around for the back, so it was an out and back I was doing, I'm going to go out as if I'm preparing myself for a race. So my whole going out was like, I was eating, I was drinking, I was like building myself up. And I was talking to myself. I was like, what are the, the tapes that I'm going to play on race day? 
if I feel like this, oh my gosh, I'm tired. My legs are heavy. It's so hot. I don't feel like I have great energy. And the goal for me for that entire training day was I'm going to turn around and it doesn't matter how I feel. I'm going to believe that I'm going to run back stronger than I came out. And according to Strava, I ended up running back and breaking a lot of my own time records from over all the years that I've run on that course. And it was just kind of going back to the power of the mind. Did my body feel any better? No. I mean, I was way more tired on the turnaround. I didn't feel great at the beginning. It wasn't like I gained strength as I went out. I was breaking my body down. I mean, by the time it was time to turn around, I'd already climbed 5,000 feet. It was super hot. You know, I was depleted, but yet I, I went back stronger. So what w- what was the change in there. And so I, I'm writing this to my coach in the airport and he writes back. He's like, Sal, you are killing these camps. And, you know, you have to focus on the work that you can do. You have to focus on the, on the recovery, you know, each thing you have to focus on piece by piece. But the, the thing that I focused on, on the going back was like, what if I was the champion? What if I was the returning champion to Western States? Is this how a champion trains? Just, you know, I'm upset that I don't feel good. I'm good energy. My legs are tired. I don't feel great. Like this, this training run sucks. No, if I, if I'm going to train, like I'm a champion, I'm going to give everything that I have to give in this session, because that's all that I can control. I can't control race day, but I can look back when I stand on the start line and remember this day in training and know that I felt like crap and I still ran well. And that was simply a a mind shift. That was just what I believed about myself. That's what I chose to focus on. 